Hello and welcome to Car Pro. Today we're going to show you how to replace the rear drum assembly for a 1972 Chevy Chevelle. Here's a drawing I'll be referring to for the majority of the video. I will put a link in the description so you can follow along. Here are the two, two tools that are absolutely necessary for disassembly and reassembly of the drum assembly. First, remove the drum assembly off of the vehicle and put it in a vise like we have here. And then disassemble it until all the little pieces are on their own. Next, push the two shoes close together so you can remove spring number 15. This will also let the assembly out for parts 18, 16, 17, and 19. And now you can replace spring 15 with this exact copy in the kit you receive. Next, we're going to disassemble 18, 19, 16, and 17 to lube them up so they will properly work. Here we are comparing old spring 15 with new spring 15, and they appear to be identical, so we can set the old one aside. Now we're going to grab our new shoes. The trick with brake shoes for drums is that the shorter side is called the primary, and this faces the front of the vehicle. The 
we can now compare them with the old shoes we just removed. Making sure that they're absolutely identical, we can reassemble this assembly we just took apart. Next, with a very small amount of grease, we're going to lube up the contact points for the shoe on the back of the drum assembly. There's only a little bit of grease we need to put on. Next, we're going to put the retention pins in, also known as part number 5 on the drawing I referred to earlier. Once those are installed, we can put the shoe assembly back onto the main piece here. For our drum assembly, piece number 7 and 8 are all in one. So we're going to grab, let's call it piece number 8, and reinstall it with that spring assembly there. On the other side, we're going to do a similar thing, except with spring number three. It's the same motion, though. Next, we can replace part number 11 and spring number 12 into its native housing. Next, we're going to replace the spring that goes into piece number 8. It is labeled 9 on the drawing I referred to earlier. Next, we're going to install part number 10. It goes up top, also known as the guide for the shoe. It just slides right on. Next, reinstall part number 6, also known as the link actuator.
Next, reinstall piece number one, also known as the spring return. This hooks onto the same place that piece number six hooks onto. Next, reinstall spring number two. This hooks on to piece number six, as shown here. Next, test and make sure that the adjuster sprocket works correctly. Next and finally, we can reinstall the drum, and we're all done. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.